Hey guys, this is Claude. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. So today I'm really proud to bring you with a new series called Lesson from the Great, where we're gonna try to learn from people that have done really great things. It could be in business or in life in general. So today our first guest is Mr. Gary Vaynerchuk. He's a businessman that started really young. When he was like seven, he was already selling lemonade. And after that, at like 14 years old, he started to sell uh, baseball cards. And then at 22, he was dragged into his dad's wine business, and where he helped him to grow the business from three to 60 millions in uh, seven years. So since that time, he has like multiple business. He runs uh, Vayner Media. So without, without further ado, let's hear from Mr. Vaynerchuk. The reason there's gonna be a billion motivational views today on YouTube is that people love the feeling of being motivated. They don't like putting in the work to do something about the feeling. Do you know yourself? Or do you aspire to be something you might actually not be? This is the toughest question of it all, my man. I mean, if you wanna be respected and really known, show, up. show the fuck up. Are you fucking kidding me with a week, going a week without doing something? There is way too many people in this room right now that are doing stuff they hate. Please stop doing that. There is no reason in 2008 to do shit you hate. None. Promise me you won't. I think one of the things that people feel, like struggle with is actually being very real with themselves. The difference between being, you know, the difference between understanding who you are versus who you wish you were. And it starts with yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what do I want to do every day for the rest of my life? Do that. I promise you can monetize that shit. Yeah. People aren't starting. People aren't starting. They're just not making. They're thinking, they're pondering, they're strategizing, they're debating. I think everybody lies to themselves and I think all of you want certain things to be happening with you. You want yourself to be something and I think what you need to do more of and if I can give you, I, clearly I'm coming out the gate with my best piece of advice. I, I really do think uh, you, know, you have to audit who you actually are. The biggest poison in us is regret. It's poison. And I push so hard, so hard and will through my vehicle, which isn't meditation, which isn't health and wellness, which isn't nonprofit, my vehicle's business. I can't help it. It's what I love. I love building businesses. I love competing with you. I want to beat you. I love that game. But through that vehicle, I will always push a lack of regret and awareness to how good it really is. You're more than welcome to tell me about how bad it is or why you can't because or what, but it's just not true. Because if anybody ever did it, then you can too. Stop making excuses. Stop complaining. Nobody's listening. They may make pretend they're listening. The market doesn't care. What you need to do is make one person happy, you. Then you can make everybody else happy. You know why I like making people happy? Because I'm already happy. And so I implore you to take this last little rant and really look at your fucking face and understand are you doing the things that are putting you in a position to succeed, not just in a business world but in life because it's super important because boy, when you're happy in life, your fucking business can roll. You need to bet on your strengths and don't give a fuck about what you suck at. You're gonna, way too many people in this room are gonna spend the next 30, 40 years of their lives trying to check the boxes of the things that they're not as good at and that you're gonna waste a fuckload of time and lose. I highly recommend auditing yourself or if you have no fucking empathy or EQ or self-awareness, then find somebody in your family or friendship that does and let them tell you who you are. And once you believe that, either for yourself or someone else told you, go directly all chips all into that. What you do is you position yourself to succeed. So for example, if you're doing something else and you, and you want to do this thing you love, you do it after hours. You work nine to six, you get home, you kiss the dog, and you go to town, right? I mean, you start building your equity and your brand and whatever you're trying to accomplish after hours. You, everybody has time. Stop watching fucking Lost. 
I realize what's going on here. One life. I realize that I'm living like this is our only at bat and most of you aren't. People fucking walking around here like they're coming back. People fucking walking around here like they're coming back. You're not coming back. I appreciate that I'm a doer. I love doing. I believe in doing. I just want you to maximize what you got and I want you to try. The thing that cripples me is the people that aren't trying out of fear, out of laziness, out of being unlucky with parents that didn't support them, being unlucky growing up in a neighborhood that wanted to tear them down instead of building them up. So I'm out here feeling guilty because I had it so good with my mama and my daddy that I want to give that to you. Hustle is the most important word ever. And that's what you need to do. You need to work so hard. Guys, we're building businesses here. This isn't about parties. So the biggest problem right now is finding money is not the problem. Really it's not.